Hi, Alton Brown here in the Totally Deserted Good Eats Test Kitchen. Hello? 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 Nobody except a camera guy uh, who lives here, so it's okay. Um, tough times, guys. Yeah, and uh, I know that a lot of us are doing some, some drinking. And, um, you know, frankly, um, since they're bitter times, I've been drinking Amaro, which of course means bitter in Italian. Uh, there are a lot of different Amaros, of course, but they're all characterized by, well, a medicinal bitterness, uh, which I happen to be a fan of. But you can't just drink them straight all the time. No, you can also make cocktails with them. So here I have a bottle of my favorite Amaro. I can't even pronounce the name of it, so you know I'm not taking money from them. But uh, we're going to be mixing that up with a little bit of a Blanco uh, tequila. Uh, we're also going to be using some agave, a sweetener that's made from the same plant that gives us the uh, tequila, some liquid smoke, no, I'm not kidding, uh, and also some citrus in the form of uh, an orange and also a lime. Let's mix. First, split both the, uh, the limes and the orange and save one thin slice of lime out for garnish. Uh, now we need more lime juice than orange, so juice both sides of the lime but only one half of the orange. Through a sieve, and we're looking for two ounces of juice here. And again, I want it to be mostly lime, so this will be more of a uh, sour than, you know, a tequila sunrise. All right, there, two ounces. And uh, that is going to go into my shaker. Now the tequila. I'm using a Blanco, all right, and going with an ounce and a half. And this is per drink, so obviously you could scale it up if you wanted to. There you go, ounce and a half. Measure this in whatever you would like. Also, uh, the Amaro. Now I'm only going to use half an ounce of the Amaro. If you like more bitterness, you could go with more. I like bitter, but maybe not. Not right now, now's not the time. Okay, here, let's go. Uh, so there, there's my uh, half ounce, and uh, that goes into the shaker as well. Hurry it up, old man. There we go. Now, liquid smoke, and yes, it's natural, and yes, I think just a couple of dashes helps to tie the uh, Amaro and the tequila together. A teaspoon of agave syrup, if you really like a sweeter drink, you could go with two teaspoons, but after all, it is a sour. Now, the reason that I'm using a shaker, oh, here, uh, ice, I forgot about that, a couple of handfuls of clean ice, and yes, I washed my hands. The reason I'm shaking this is because I want to break up that syrup, right? It's got a heavy viscosity, so I'm shaking rather than stirring. Here, I've got a nice cocktail glass. Of course, there's a strainer in the top of the shaker. So there you have it. Garnish, of course, with the, uh, the uh, lime wheel. We're not savages. And there you have it, the smoky tequila sour, which should take the sting out of isolation. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to share that with anybody.